Everyone is talking about Tom Brady after he made football history, taking home his seventh Super Bowl win. Not to mention, this was the first time he did it without his former team, the New England Patriots. This time, Tom celebrated with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and you know, when he went to play for them, he and his supermodel wife Giselle Boonchin had to move themselves into a gorgeous Florida mansion. Tom has also established himself a winning record off the field by moving around from one lavish property to the next, living in New York, Los Angeles, and more. We're gonna check out Tom and Giselle's current mansion in Tampa, the Florida dream home that's in the works, and more. We even found the list. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Tom Brady is an athlete who needs no introduction, especially after this last Super Bowl. But as you probably know, he's currently a quarterback in the NFL playing for Tampa Bay. He's also widely considered the greatest quarterback of all time and has set plenty of records over his football career. Tom is also one of the NFL's highest paid players with some $350 million in career earnings. While believe it or not, his Super Bowl Model wife Giselle Boonchin is estimated to have a net worth of nearly twice as much as her husband at $521 million. Either way, the inseparable couple has quite the combined fortune that allows them to move from mansion to mansion whenever they please. Having left the Patriots after 20 seasons, Tom and Giselle sold their 12,000 square foot New England mega mansion last year for over $32 million and moved to the Sunshine State. It's reported the high profile couple have now invested over $17 million on a teardown home on the exclusive Indian Creek Island in Miami, dubbed the Billionaire Bunker. And they're building a custom dream home. While they wait, they're renting Derek Jeter's famous mansion in Florida for a rumored $75,000 Per month. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. While we previously reported on Tom Brady and Giselle Boonchin's homes on this channel, it was before they uprooted their family to Florida, so it was time for an update. And what better time than after his huge Super Bowl win? We'll check out their current homes in Florida and more. As you know, here we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered about Lil Uzi Vert's face diamond implant or about Justin Bieber's one of a kind new whip. We recently started a brand new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. Join us and subscribe. We even did a video on Tom Brady's gorgeous yacht, so I think you should check it out. I'm gonna tell you everything we know about it and why on earth you would wanna spend so much on something so seemingly strange. Wouldn't a diamond in the forehead feel weird? Who knows? As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. While all of Tom and Giselle's former properties are jaw-dropping, we're gonna take a quick look at one they sold off in 2014 to none other than Dr. Dre for a whopping $40 million. It's rumored that the current eco-friendly dream home the couple has being built in Florida will loosely resemble this Brentwood mansion they also had custom built. Located in Brentwood, a quiet upscale neighborhood in West Side, Los Angeles, Tom and Giselle's former home was made to resemble a French country chateau and occupied four acres of sprawling land. Not only was their home environmentally conscious, it was also a palace spanning over 18,000 square feet of space with every amenity you could dream of. Boasting five bedrooms and nine bathrooms, there were two full wings and the place was designed from the ground up by the famed Richard Landry. There were details like wooden ceiling beams and antique floorboards giving off old world charm throughout, as well as seven fireplaces and large common rooms for entertaining guests. One of those fireplaces was in the expansive master suite Tom and Giselle shared. The bedroom also had a custom chandelier, huge walk-in closet, master bath, and walkout terrace. All of the bedrooms overlooked the dramatic infinity pool surrounding gardens and grounds. Out front, a winding gated driveway led over waterfalls and ponds to a cobblestone motor core. Get this, the mansion even had a moat with koi fish. Other features of this Brentwood estate included a library, full gym and weight room, sauna, a wine cellar, and multiple covered terraces. While Tom and Giselle still called this place home, they even opened their doors for architectural digest. Considering it took the pair about four years and likely $20 million to get this home exactly how they wanted it. They were proud to show the place off. 
One of their main goals was to install energy and water systems to make the place eco-friendly, as well as features like solar panels for electricity. By the sounds of it, they'll be doing this for the new Florida mansion they're building too. While Tom and Giselle are working on their custom Florida estate, the pair went all out for where they're currently living. The mansion they're living at with their kids is one of the most famous homes in all of Florida, after places like Mar-a-Lago, of course. Located on Davis Island in downtown Tampa, this jaw-dropping property was built by another sports legend Derek Jeter, who was renting it to the Bradys for a reported $75,000 per month. Not to mention, the home is also up for sale at a whopping $29 million. This mansion sits on a beautiful 1.2 acre waterfront lot and has served as the setting of Tom's amazing year in Tampa training for his successful Super Bowl victory. As you'd imagine, it's a big house. 22,000 square feet with another 9,000 square feet of terraces, as well as 7 bedrooms and 9 baths. The exterior of the mansion is more traditional than you might expect, looking like a country mansion with a lot of stone both inside and out. Dark wood complements the white and grey stone in the interior and there are plenty of double height ceilings and floor to ceiling windows to take in the fabulous water views. There's a great room that flows out onto the patio and glass sliders make for a seamless transition. This place also has more than one seating area, a fireplace with flat screen TV above and cozy eating area beside the open air. There's more space to dine in in the massive modern kitchen with bar seating and a cozy breakfast nook, while more formal meals can happen in the nearby dining room. Not to mention that fresh looking kitchen has not one but four dishwashers. Elsewhere, there's what looks like a top-notch man cave or club room with open views to the water, a full bar with a TV setup, pool table, and more. Other luxury amenities include a professional gym as you'd expect Tom needs, a screening room, an elegant office library, and an 80-foot lap pool with separate spots. Also outside with all that sprawling terrace space, there are balconies on every level overlooking the water views, as well as covered spaces to barbecue and dine. For lucky guests who come to visit, they can stay in the separate guest suite that seems to also have its own small kitchen and living spaces aside from the bed and bath. I'm sure Tom and Giselle can also enjoy their yacht or boats here considering there's a large dock with two boat lifts. Despite how straight up amazing this mansion is, it's only a matter of time before someone wants to buy. But I'm sure by then the couple will be ready to move into their custom property. Last year, Tom and Giselle dropped $17 million for a home on one of the most exclusive enclaves in the world, Indian Creek in Miami, also dubbed a billionaire bunker, and with good reason. The private horseshoe shaped island has just 34 homes, and residents include supermodel Adriana Lima, Ivanka Trump, and Jared Kushner, and billionaire investors like Carl Icahn. The Tear down home Tom and Giselle purchased spanned 5,172 square feet with five beds and five baths, but it sounds like the pair has something much more lavish in store. Thanks to the exclusivity of Indian Creek and a population of only around 80 residents, privacy won't be an issue for high profile couples like them. Not to mention, Tom is notoriously privacy conscious and was attracted to the idea of living on a guard gated island patrolled by marine guards. In an interview with Howard Stern, he said, I forgot people could drive up to your house. Here they can pull right up to the back of the house. I'm a little bit of an introvert. I feel like my house is my place I can relax. In the backyard, there's a lot of boats that have pulled up and people at the front. In place of the house they demolished on the site, it's rumored Tom and Giselle will build another eco-friendly dream house similar to the Brentwood mansion we looked at that they sold to Dr. Dre. One thing's for sure, I bet the mansion is going to be huge. Having traded teams and climates over to Florida, the star quarterback has been excited to put down roots under the Florida sun. Tom stated, you won't catch me dead living in the Northeast anymore. I'm loving the warm weather and it's been a great feeling. Well, I don't blame you, Tom, that's for sure. So now we've taken a look at Tom Brady and his wife Giselle Boonchin's latest real estate since moving to the Sunshine State, and I think that brings this house tour to an end. As for the custom mansion they're working on, I think that might take a little bit of time, so we're just gonna have to wait and see the finished result. If it's anything like their former properties, you already know it's gonna be luxury living at its finest. After checking out Tom and Giselle's former brand, Wood Mansion and their luxury rental estate in Tampa they've been living at. What did you guys think? What was your fave part of their current home? I love the rental mansion's design, especially in the entrance and the double height great room. It had all the amazing features in one spot and opened right up to the waterfront views. Be sure to tell me what you thought down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. I'm still reading all of your comments, so keep the suggestions coming. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!